The smart sun tracking mechanism is designed and constructed to enable the solar receptor to track the sun from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. The solar receptor and the focusing lens arrangement are mounted on the same shaft such that a constant angular difference exists between the normal of the solar receptor and the lens arrangement. This angular difference is to provide enough time for the SMA actuator to get actuated by the sun and for it to cool in still air. At the start of the day, the solar receptor in a position such that the solar receptor normal is approximately normal to the sun at 8 am. When the sun moves away from the solar receptor and approaches the maximum value of the angular deviation, the rays begin to get focused towards the SMA spring by the lenses. The focused rays start heating the SMA spring, causing it to contract. This action pulls the cable connected to the SMA spring, causing the cable to rotate the pulley A. This rotation sets in motion a series of rotational movements by pulleys B, C and D and the bevel gears culminating in the movement of the solar receptor which gets tilted forward such that it faces the sun. The stroke of the SMA is controlled by the tapered stopper to restrict the tilt in such way that solar receptor gets correctly aligned towards the sun's rays. This tilt would simultaneously cause the lens platform also to move away since both the lens platform and the solar receptor are mounted on the same shaft such that the sun's rays are not any more focused on the SMA spring. In the absence of any heating, the SMA spring would start to cool and elongate due to the pull exerted by the weight attached to the wheel C. The wheel D will also try to rotate back but would be prevented from doing so by the ratchet pawl mechanism that would arrest such movement allowing only wheel C to rotate, preventing the reverse rotation of the solar receptor. As regards the SMA actuator, it would have been restored to its initial status and would once again ready to execute the actuation cycle when the sun again reaches the maximum of the angular deviation mentioned earlier. At the end of the day, after 120 degrees rotation of the sun, the liver clutch arrangement restores the solar receptor back to the initial position, that is, to the position of the solar receptor at the time of the first actuation of the day.